Let's tease some of that out. Stress and pressure are a part of any workplace environment, and obviously they're a, they're a factor causing uh, mental ill health. But looking at stress and pressure in the workplace, what's the difference between normal stress and abnormal stress? And that's I'm so glad you raised that because we can't get rid of all pressure, all challenge in the workplace. You know, we're there to perform, to create, to get things done. And so a workplace that tries to eliminate anything that may potentially uh, create some sort of pressure for people, it's just a futile exercise. What we instead want to do is build up people so that they are able to take on more and more challenge. So they're able to to have those, those psychological strategies and there's a whole range of different uh, approaches that people can use, but have those strategies to be able to meet and exceed the demands. And that's a great question because people are being paid these days in, in the modern workplace, more, more often than not, we're being paid for our ability to carry certain pressure and produce under pressure. That's what we get paid. Exactly. I mean, otherwise it would be a gift. <laughs> it wouldn't be a salary. You know? So we get paid so we can deliver on goods. So that, in, that out of the gate, it means that we're expected to feel certain pressure, whereas we turn it into stress or not, it's completely up to us. There's a difference between pressure and stress. Pressure, if I like pressure, it's exciting. If I think it's going to hurt me, it becomes stress and it's damaging. So, for example, I mean, um, if, if uh, a person goes to the gym, um, everybody knows that in order to grow your muscles and be fit, you have to lift weights and it's going to hurt. It possibly is going to hurt tomorrow too, if it's going to be any good. We know that. So, but what do most people do? They go to the gym, it hurts and they feel good about it. They, f they don't feel stressed. They feel this is doing me good. Pain equals good. In the workplace, it's the same thing. If pain equals good, we have excitement, we have engagement, we have a great workforce. If pain equals, oh my God, this is hurting me, now we have stress, we have okay. problems.